Hello everyone. In today's lecture, I am going to discuss about the uh, human geography, which is the subfield of geography. So, if you look at the geography, so geography is broadly divided into two broad subfields. One is the physical geography, another is the human geography. Today, I am going to discuss about the human geography. So, before uh, going into deep about the human geography, let me tell you that. Uh, uh, why we, what is the relevance of uh, studying human geography? If you look at the current scenario of the world, so there are about 7 billion people. Okay, so with 7 billion people, there are a lot of problems. There are problems of scarcity of resources. There are problems of uh, the uh, ethnic clashes. There is a problem of inequality, there is a problem of pollution, there is a problem of uh, environment pollution and there is a problem, there are n number of problems. There are problems of uh, the urbanization, there is a problems of the city, uh, these uh, slums and if I start saying about the problems which we are facing today in this world, so there are n number of problems. So that is why it becomes very essential for everyone uh, within the geography to take geography seriously, to take geography as a discipline, especially in terms of human geography, because these all problems are related to the human. So what is human geography? Human geography studies the interrelationship between the people, places and environment. Human geography studies the interrelationship between the people, places and the environment which vary spatially and temporally. Across and between the locations. Okay, so spatially here is the space and Temporarily is related to the time. So when I talk about the space, space is a very crucial concept in the contemporary human geography. Why space is a crucial? Because like geography matters in today's the contemporary world, in that uh, similar way the space uh, matters with uh, in, the, in the contemporary human geography, the space matter. So what is space? Space is basically a dimension, uh, a lived dimension in which we, we uh, traverse, the human being travels on everyday basis, we traverse across the space, we travel the distances within the space. And Edward Soja gave a very nice explanation about the space which he, uh, which he theorized in the trilects of uh, space and he called space as a lived space. So if you look at the discipline of geography over the last 200 years we have given the uh, focus upon the time but we have forgotten the concept of space which is very much essential. So time is about if you say the time is about history it's about the events one after another Whereas geography is about the space. Geography is about the space. So we have focused more on the time. More on this time means the succession. Time is a virtual concept. But the real concept here in geography is the lived space in which we dwell every day. We dwell in that space. So think spatially. So, uh, to think spatially, so these four conditions, one is the location, second is the conditions, third is the connections, and fourth is the region. This, these four uh, aspects of thinking spatially matters. So when I talk about the location, location means the absolute location, which is the grid of latitude and longitude, where you are standing, where you are standing, where is your position in that space is the location okay there is also a relative uh, location like when you relate one place with another place okay so when is basically if you see 
not only just a location but it is in geography if you see place place also have a emotional meaning to it emotional meaning in the sense it has beliefs it has values it has memories okay so uh, if you look at uh, the place place is also embedded with uh, with environment with history with politics with economics with culture so they are all intermixed and intertwined and they are interlinked within each other it's a mixture place is a mixture of all of these whether it is environment whether it is culture whether it is politics whether it is economics so they are all intertwined within this place so it becomes very essential for us to understand this relationships this interconnectedness between the places so if you see the uh, space the best example is suppose you are traveling from point a to point b so this is point a and this is point b so just assume that this point a is your hometown and this point b is some uh, school or your workplace or college okay so if you are traveling from point a to point b so you traverse through the space okay you travel through the space and then you travel through the space from point a to point b so this hometown you you have lived here okay you have given meaning to this uh, this uh, particular area or region then it becomes a place for you it's a place because it is it has a meaning whereas between this point this is the space space is basically the simultaneity it is a simultaneity there it is a, a dimension of multiplicity it is a dimension of multiplicity means uh, if i am here in 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 jammu okay uh, my friends are simultaneously they are they are their existence is in they, they are existing in delhi they are living in delhi okay similarly some other events are happening in other countries at the same uh, space okay so if one travels from a to point b and this place uh, this a point is your hometown and this school or workplace it also creates experience you also create experience from these places that is why it becomes meaningful so the difference it is very important for us to understand the difference between place and space then only we can understand the human geography because it's related to the humans okay so place has a meaning place has a belief place has a value place has an experience whereas the space is a dimension of lived space even here if you if you will see there are multiple stories okay if you are if you are stop at one point you will find that one point or one house in between uh, these two uh, points if you if you just uh, just stand here and listen to the people or to the to the uh, to the places in between a and b you will find multiple stories okay so space is always we are always moving in the front space as uh, uh, the uh, a famous uh, geographer from china yi fituan said that the humans have the tendency to always dwell in their frontal space we are always moving in the future space okay so when we move to the future space we can only move to the future space when there is freedom when there is freedom you can move into that future space and you can seek multiple stories you can seek you can know multiple stories so why space matters because if you see uh, let me give you the example of globalization you think globalization uh, as a phenomena uh, created on its own no it is invented it is invented and it has a relation with the power okay if you see the globalization in today's world uh, it has a power and this power is uh distributed among the few 
So power is the ability to do work. I'm not against the power. Power is the ability to do work. But there is unequal distribution of the power. That is why this space matters in the geography. Okay, that is why the space matters in the geography. That is why there is a shift of the linearity. There is a shift of the linearity to the simultaneities. There is a shift from temporal to the spatial. Especially in the domain of human geography. So, uh, if you see some few uh, famous geographers who have worked on the space, like John Allen, he worked on the relationship between the space and the power. So, this space has been created. This has been created with the powerful ones. It has been invented. And few people are just uh, taking advantage of it and most of the people are being marginalized. Okay. Similarly, uh, the John Engu also gave the concept of specialty of the nation state. Edward Soja, he gave the concept of spatial turn in, uh, in 1990s, uh, which became the most influential and intellectual uh, in terms of geography. So, broadly, if you see uh, the human geography, then uh, can be further classified into many subfields like from here itself you can see that the, this politics which deals in politics uh, is political geography okay political geography this is economic geography this is cultural geography and then the environmental geography and there are so many geographies like gender geographies then feminist geographies and uh, the population geography uh, and so on. There are so many geographies which have evolved from the human geography 